Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is going to be looking at a couple of new tools we've added to our patch viewer mode. And these tools are for blurring and covering tripods. Right, okay, so let's start off then. What I'm going to do is we're going to zoom into this vehicle and what I want to do is cover this license plate. So what we do is go to our patch viewer mode and double click on the uh, license plate. And what I'm going to do is change the aspect ratio of the patch. So it's a better shape for doing this. Here we go, that'll do. I can resize it, and what we can do is rotate it as well. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit more. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. There you go, so that's that. And what I'm also gonna do is set the type of patch to blurred square. And that now blurs out the number plate. There you go, cool. Right, with, um, or still in uh, patch, Viewer mode, if you've got individuals that you want to blur out, hold down the um, shift key, double click, that adds um, a blurred circle. So now when we come away, you can see I've got a blurred circle. That's a bit big, so I'm just going to resize that. And yeah, that's now blurred out that person. Now this is great if you've got two or three or even five people that you want to quickly blur out, really good. If you've got a crowd of people that you want to blur out, then you're better off just adding a patch or extracting a patch image into Photoshop, correcting it in Photoshop, and as soon as you save it, you'll up, it'll update the patch within Pano 2VR. So that's probably the best way, but if you've got you know a handful of people that you want to blur out, this is by far the quickest way. Okay, the other tool that we've got is a blurred cover, and that is for uh, things like tripods. Um, now, obviously this was a pretty low sun, so I've got a low shadow, so if we just forget that for the second, what I'm going to do is, whilst in still the patch viewer mode, double click, add a patch, set the size I want, under type, we're going to go blurred cover, and as soon as we do that, that is going to patch out the tripod, and the way it's doing that is sampling all the pixels around the area, dragging them into the center, and to tidy up a little bit more, we're actually applying a blur to the center as well. Okay, so that's now those items blurred out and the tripod covered. If you wanna see what it looks like without the blue icons, just select something like pano mode and then you can click the eyeball and that takes away these icons and you can see then the blurring of the number plate and, and faces a little bit better. But let's go back to that and back to the patch mode. What I want to do now is obviously we only covered the tripod in this one image. I want to show you how to do it now um, with all images. Now as soon as I deleted that, you see that the tripods come back. And that's because our patch mode is non-destructive to the input image. However, you can if you wanted to resave the input image with patches and leveling applied if you wanted to. Right, okay, so we want to apply this to all images, and the way we do that is go into our Edit Master Node, and we do that by either clicking Tour, Edit Master Node here, or as we're in Pro, click right button click in the Tour browser and Edit Master Node here. There we go. And as soon as you do that, we end up in this like hollow suite type image, and whatever we do here is re is is reflected or transferred to all the images in the Tour. So what I'm going to do is double click to add a patch. Um, the patch is actually snapped to Zenith and Nadia. Um, so this is actually snapped to the Nadia where the tripod is, so I know that. I'm gonna set its size um, as we did before, and I'm gonna set the image type to blurred cover. I'm gonna select apply, and to get out of the um, edit master node, all you do is you click any of the input images, and you'll find that it's now gone there you go and if we have a select if you look we've now taken it out of all the images so that's you know so regardless of how many input images you had just doing those simple steps you've now removed the tripod from all of them okay um what i'm going to do is go back into the edit master node and remove this um and the reason being is what i'm probably going to want to do or or, or or what i want to show you is that you can actually extract a patch image from all of the input images, bring them into Photoshop, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna record an action in Photoshop to use something like Content Aware to remove the tripod, possibly uh, a little bit better than what the um, blurred cover does, and then how to run a batch in um, 
Photoshop to apply that to all of the um, panels in the tour. So this is actually very, very quick once you're used to doing it. So how do we do that? Right, well, we go back to Edit Master Node. We double click to add a patch. We take the size of the area that we want. If you want the patch to be in the same direction as your pano, just set the roll to zero. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just say, just resize this and I'm going to leave it at image and click extract. It's going to say extract patches for all nodes. I'm going to click yes. And that's it. Pano 2 VR has just done that. If I minimize Pano 2 VR, you'll see that it's now created a folder in the project file called patches. And here are all of my patches. There we go. Right. So what we do now then is right button click on this patch and open with Photoshop. Here it is. I'm just going to resize it a little bit so we can see it a bit better. Ooh. There we go. If you haven't got your actions panel already open, you can select window actions to hide it and window actions to show it. So there it is. Right. So I want to record my action. So the first thing I need to do then is start a new action and I'm going to call it, um, Pano patch, okay, and click record. I'm gonna drag this and make a duplicate layer. I'm gonna work with the duplicate layer. So the idea is that we can come back if we've done something wrong or we want to correct something, I've still got the original image. Okay, so with that done, I'm gonna select a circular marquee tool and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and drag it over the area I want and just position it, there it is. I'm going to right button click, go to fill, and using content aware, click OK. That's removed the tripod. I know I've got the shadow and got the shadow there, but you know, bear with me. This is just a um, tutorial. Um, so we've now removed the uh, tripod, and now what I'm going to do is click file and save. And with that done, I'm going to stop the recording. Here we go. So that's that. If we go back to Pano 2 VR now and have a look at the, um, or rather if we have a look at the patches in the patches folder, that's the one with the tripod removed. If we go back to Pano 2 VR and select that Pano, you should see there it is. The tripod has now gone and we haven't got that, you know, pulling of the pixels effect because we used Photoshop's content aware, but obviously we've still got the others in the other images. What we need to do now then is go back to Photoshop um, go file, um, automate and batch. We've got pano patch already selected, so but we'd select our action. I'm going to choose the folder. So go test the uh, des des uh, desktop patches and choose. And then I'm going to click OK. And that's now going to run that. And we are going to take away the tripod from all of those images by using content aware. And when it's finished, if we just again go back to the um, patches folder, uh, select a couple there. So that's the original one we did, that's the next one. So it's removed them all. And when we go back to Pano 2 VR, you should see that all of these images now have been updated with the tripod removed. There you go, that's the quickest way of doing that. And of course, that's how to blur and patch. And thanks for watching.